Neural interface between a subject and their prosthesis is the next step to fusing man with machine. The potential for controlling a prosthesis with your own conscious intent is reaching viability through advancement of technological capabilities. To this end, we have adopted microphone sensors to listen to muscle activation of the amputee's residual thigh muscles. The approach proposed in this work would train an intelligent microprocessor system to recognize patterns in muscle activation during different walking activities so that it could make accurate predictions of gait intent from observations of daily activities of the user. However, for a safe and accurate system response, this training would require large volumes of subject-specific data, which must be collected live from the subject in a clinic before the user can go about daily activities. For an amputee, this training would be a limiting factor if their strength and stamina remained below normal following amputation. Thus, for most amputees, we would seek a method that could avoid the requirement for extensive clinical training. This study proposes that that training is conducted from a cohort of able-bodied subjects rather than the amputee. We have assessed the potential for use of subject-independent and subject-dependent pooling of data from a cohort of 12 subjects, including one transtibial amputee, for training of a gait intent classifier for a group of five gait modes for informing a powered knee prosthetic controller using mechanomyographic MMG muscle activation sensors. Subjects were led through a course of level ground walking at self-selected cadences and ramp ascent and descent at an inclination of 5 degrees to collect an average of 24 heel strike events for each subject and for each activity. Heel strike was used as a marker about which to segment MMG data signals, with 200 millisecond windows used to view the data both before and after heel strike. A classification algorithm based on a cubic support vector machine was used to assess the potential for real-time classification of gate mode and ultimately real-time control of a powered knee prosthesis. Using only a small data set from a single subject resulted in the least accurate classification, and this is attributed to the limitations of classifying based on a very small data set, as would be preferred for an amputee. Use of a pool of data from a cohort of able-bodied subjects was significantly more effective, realized with classification accuracies averaging 91.7%, and optimizing this pool with a small volume of subject-specific data further increased performance to, on average, 93.3%. The aim of the project was to assess methods of circumventing extensive clinical prosthesis training, and the results show that training with more energetic able-bodied subjects is a highly effective method for reducing time in the clinic. Based on these results, we would conclude that data pooling from multiple able-bodied subjects is a powerful solution to the limitations of fatiguing clinical training of the amputee and prosthesis.